All right, it's glad we're glad to have you this Christmas Eve night to celebrate the birth of Christ, the giver of life, the sustainer of the life, and the glory of heaven. And we're here to delight in the Lord, and, and I know that uh, we probably are doing things different, but it'll just be different today, okay? And so we'll just enjoy it. If we make mistakes, we made some mistakes, okay? But I am glad for all the volunteers. Uh, I, I say they're volunteers. We twisted their arms just a little bit. But I am glad that they are involved. I'm glad that you've come tonight to celebrate. And that's what we want to do is celebrate. Uh, I will tell you a little about what we're going to do tonight. Uh, Jerry and I will hand out the uh, Lord's Supper to the deacons and they'll stand and you will come forward and be served and you'll have the bread and the cup also. Okay? You'll have both the bread and the cup. So we'll have uh, a bread over here, a bread over here, a cup over here, and a cup over here. Okay? So you come and be served. I would like for you to take that back to your seat and hold until we do it all together. Okay? And partake of the Lord's Supper all together. All right? And so that's the way we'll do tonight, which is a little bit different. That will be done after we light the Christ candle. And when we light the Christ candle, after lighting the Christ candle, we will have the Lord's Supper. And I will invite you up. After that, we will light the candles. Jerry and I will light the deacon's candles. And they will come and light your candle. When all the candles are lit, we will begin singing joy to the world as we exit. All right. Any questions? I'm delighted that you're here tonight. And trust that you will receive a blessing from being in God's house. Tonight we have come together to lift our voices and our praises to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We gather to celebrate the birth of one only Prince of Peace, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel. May we pray together. Our Father God, I thank you for your amazing love. God, that you love us so much. God, that you want us to come unto you. And because you want us to come unto you, you gave us your precious baby boy to come to this earth and, Lord, to descend from heaven and come and as a babe through a virgin Mary that we might be saved, that we might be brought to you. And he lived that perfect life, and he set the example for us, and he set the bar for us, and he died on the cross for all of our sins, for the sin of humanity. And God, we thank you for that. And we thank you, God, that he was resurrected three days later. In his back in your arms, sitting on your right hand throne, just urging us on and encouraging us. Lord, we thank you, God, that you love us that much. And God, we pray that we may go in this service celebrating you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We invite you to take your hymn book and turn with us to number 82. Let's sing together, Emmanuel.
1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade, kept in heaven for you. Page number 88 in your hymn book, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. chapter 1, verses 8 through 25. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take me home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son and gave him the name Jesus. Tonight, we light the first candle in remembrance of the hope that Christ gives to us.
Hymn number 86, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Would you stand and join us as we sing? reading is from Luke 1, 26 through 38. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who has said to be barren is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. Amen. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be as you have said. Then the angel left her. Tonight, we light the second candle 
in remembrance of the peace that Christ has brought into the world. Hymn number 93, it came upon a midnight clear. from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, under the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth their firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the end. Hymn number 103, Away in a Manger. Stand and sing with us, please.
sin and death he saves us and lightens every load. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, and he is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Tonight, we light the third candle, rejoicing because of the overwhelming joy that Jesus has given to us. Shepherds gaze in wonder While angel voices sing This night of nights has come And brought the world the long-awaited key And the earth is filled with gladness But yet the heavens weep For heaven's eyes can see He was born to die for me Is that a tear in your eye? Jesus, baby Jesus, you must know you were born to die. It must have broken God's heart For the future he could see Yet he formed the hands and feet Knowing one day they'd be nailed to a tree so all the world could know him A gift came from above For God so loved the world That he gave his only son Jesus, 
with a tear of love in your eye. My Jesus, sweet baby Jesus, you must know you were born to die. So I thank you, thank you Jesus. your gift of eternal life. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for you he was born to die. Father, we thank you for the plan from the creation to send your son, Father, to pay a price that we could never pay. Father, to open the doors of heaven to us because we could never do it. Father, we thank you that in our weakness you are strong. Father, we thank you that where we lack, Father, you give us everything. Lord, we thank you that all you ask of us is a surrender to your son who came to die. He came to die, Father, so that we might live. And Father, we celebrate that tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number 108, how great our joy. Stand and sing with us, please. So they hurried off and they found Mary, Joseph, and the baby was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told them about the child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which they, which were just as they had been told. As John explains in his gospel, this child was born to give his life away. 
John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Tonight, we light the fourth candle to remember the love that Jesus Christ revealed in his coming and his dying for each of us. Hymn number 89, O come all ye faithful. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Isaiah 9, 6 through 7. Then Jesus came to him and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. 18 to 20. Tonight we light the Christ candle in honor of the birth of life and light of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 